king for a day. Ra Ruk Rukasana Khan. I think that's how you pronounce the author. All right. For my father, Muhammad Anwar Khan, a wise king for more than a day. For Tamar Levine, the grandmother of books of, and dreams. Basant is the most exciting day of the year, but feasts, uh, with feasts and music and parties and people celebrating the arrival of spring. And many will make their way to the rooftops of Lahar to test their skills in kite flying battles. I'm up early. My brother and sister arrive still rubbing sleep from their eyes. My brother asks, Malik? Is that all you made? My sister says, how can you be king of Basant with only one kite? It's called Falcon. And Allah, it will be, uh, it will be fast enough. Alish, uh, and Ish Allah in, um, in Arabic, it means if God is willing. Okay. So he says, Anish Allah. It will be fast enough. I send my my brother many blocks downwind so he can catch the kites I will set free. There's the bully next door. Ha! It's time it's time to make him pay for hitting me and throwing stones at my sister. I'll get back at him with Falcon. The bully shouts at us calling my sister a bad name. My sister yells right back, but when she turns around, I can see she is hurt inside. The breeze lifts the bully's flat, hot, huge kite. His kite is so big, I nickname it Goliath. It must have cost a fortune. Falcon is small, built for speed. I let out enough of my special string for my sister to carry Falcon to the edge of the roof. Don't step on the on the tails, I cry. Don't rip them. On the count of three, my sister jumps. I tug on the string. Falcon leaps into the sky. I'm ready to attack. I work my string, dipping Falcon so it circles Goliath. Because it is so big, Goliath is slow. My kite string rubs the bully's kite string. Snip! I have sliced it. Goliath fl flies free, and the bully's string drops from the sky like a fishing line with nothing on the hook. The bully picks up his other kite, a small, faster kite. He gets it climbing. Uh, he gets it climbing on the rising currents of air until it's almost as high as Falcon. I take a deep breath, bracing myself. The bully's kite circles, trying to trap Falcon. I move away, watching closely for the next attack. The bully pulls his kite left. Quickly, I pull down as hard as I can. Sending Falcon into a steep dive. Let up, Malik, my sister yells. You're going to crash. Just before Falcon hits the rooftop, I pull it up and around several times, snagging the bully string so, so he cannot get it free. I reel in the bully's kite so my sister can grab it. The bully's done. He has no more kites. He storms downstairs. I move on to other kites. It's easy for Falcon to pluck them from the sky as if it were, if it ripped as if it really is a bird of prey. Big 
kites, little kites, fancy and plain, even kites made of old newspapers. Sometimes I catch them in, in groups, making wide circles around clusters of kites, falcon slashes through their strings. For a while, the kites fly where the wind carries them. Then they land. They, they'll belong to whoever finds them. But at least they will be they will have taste tasted freedom. Anishala, I really am king of Besant today. Throughout the day, my brother brings some of the kites I have freed up to the roof. Among them is Goliath. My sister stacks them in piles. Sometimes loose kites float close, close enough for me to catch. Falcon tangles their string, and I draw them in. My sister catches some, too. She uses a long bamboo pole topped with thorns. If I am king, she is queen of Basant. At the end of the day, we have a big pile of kites. I choose the, the two I want. Then my brother and sister get their picks. After they have chosen, they start back downstairs. My sister says, Malik, you coming? Not yet. The sun is setting on a magnificent day. I want to stay up here to watch, to feel the cool breeze. I want to make my day last a little longer. Suddenly, I hear yelling from below. The bully pushes a young girl to the ground. Then he grabs her kite and runs into his house. The girl gets to her feet, sobbing. She heads down the alley, trailing the kite string behind her. Something makes me pick up Goliath and drop it over the side of the roof. It floats, slicing the air side to side to land close behind her. The, uh, the, care, the crying stops. The girl picks up Goliath. I duck just, just as she looks up to see where it came from. When I look again, she dancing. she's dancing along. Then she ro rolls, uh, rounds the corner. She's gone. One by one, the stars come out till they shine down. Like a, like a million jeweled kites, my day is done. I am no longer king of the sun. It's time to go downstairs and join my brother and sister. We have many stories to tell of Falcon's triumphs. And tomorrow, I will start designing a new kite, an even better kite for next Basant, when Anish Allah, if God willing, I will be king again. The end.